All right, hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Jenny. I wanted to talk about a topic some people have been asking me about uh, due to the recent cold weather we're having in the United States, and that is uh, what do reptiles do when it's freezing outside? So, first off, oops, I hit my light. First off, <laughs> If you're not aware, which you probably are, reptiles and amphibians are cold-blooded animals. Now, that doesn't mean their blood is literally cold. It means that they don't produce their own heat through metabolic processes like we mammals do. So they get their heat from external sources like sunshine or like a warm rock or basking on a log, things like that. These animals are typically called ectotherms. Uh, we are endotherms, they are ectotherms, and more specifically, they are poikilotherms. Poikilothermic means varied heat. And so poikilotherms, like many reptiles, uh, their body heat changes depending on uh, the environment that they're in. So if it's warm, they're warm. If it's cold, they're cold, etc. While their metabolism slows way down, in cold climates and during cold um, temperatures like winter time, it doesn't slow down so much that they freeze to death. So they still have, you can think of it like 1% battery life left, um, like in battery save mode, power save mode. Uh, they're they're kind of shut down. They slow down almost all of their metabolic processes. They still can metabolize stored fats though, which gives them energy throughout the winter. And um, one thing you might notice too about reptiles, if you keep reptiles or if you've ever kept them, you might notice that they tend to go off feed uh, when it's really cold or if they don't have proper heat. Uh, if you keep any turtles outside, like box turtles, uh, box turtles especially tend to dig down and hide underneath like a log or hide into the dirt when it's cold outside. Um, and this is normal. This uh, type, is, it's really not hibernation, it's actually called torpor. And in reptiles, this period of inactivity is called brumation. So you might be familiar with brumation if you're already a reptile keeper or uh, someone who likes to read about reptiles. There are some reptiles that get um, sometimes uh, trapped under ice when ponds freeze over. It does not affect them the way you think it would. Those animals don't freeze. Most still move around freely under the ice. Uh, like if you've ever seen fish swimming around under ice. Sometimes people uh, up north here in the United States report seeing turtles under the ice. And that's why I wanted to talk about this is because there's uh, at least two images that I've seen on social media get circulated around. And it's the one of the alligator that's got a snout sticking up through the ice and of the man that's sitting on the ice and below him just a few inches down you can see a pretty huge alligator snapping turtle. Alligators tend to go dormant when water temperatures drop below 55 degrees. They don't freeze to death typically because they, their body is still metabolizing fats, stored fats, uh, and so they are, um, they've got a little bit of a metabolic process going. They're not totally dead to the world. Uh, turtles actually have um, a certain process they do in which they f uh, neutralize lactic acid buildup. And lactic acid is produced during their metabolic processes of, of uh, digesting these stored fats. And lactic acid buildup can actually be fatal for an animal, but turtles counteract this lactic acid buildup because they're, the bones of their skele skeleton, excuse me, and the bones of their shell, which are a part of their skeleton, uh, release carbonate buffers that neutralize these lactic acids. And it's also known too that their shells will take up lactic acid and then buffer it and store it in the shell. Um, another thing that some turtles will do, not all turtles, but some turtles uh, can breathe somewhat through their cloaca. And if you're not aware of what a cloaca is, it is sort of the reptile's anus. And so they're able to push water in and out and that uh, exchanges dissolved oxygen in the water with carbon dioxide uh, as a metabolic byproduct. And so that's another way that they can um, help themselves get through those winter months when they're under the ice. Uh, so if you ever see a turtle under the ice, guys, don't worry about it. He's going to be just fine. He'll make it through the winter. You don't have to worry about that turtle. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe this cleared up a couple of questions you might have had about what reptiles do in the wintertime. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!